In this module, I'm going to consume the REST API in Xamarin Forms. So let's create our model class from the JSON. Well, if you don't know how to create a model class from JSON, then follow me because I will show you a simple way to generate a model class. First, we will need to go to the json to cshopcom website and just paste this JSON here. And simply click this generate button and this will generate our model class from this JSON. So just copy this JSON and then shift to the Visual Studio. And let's create a new class and name it products. And then inside this product class, let's paste the following code that we have copied earlier. Now we have a model, so we need to add some XAML code. Because I want to get a list of data from the get request, so I need to use the list view in my XAML page. Now let's add a list view, list view dot item template inside this add a data template. If you don't have any idea about list view and Xamarin forms, then switch to my other courses that is layouts in Xamarin forms and build real world application in Xamarin forms because there I have explained the list view and XAML concepts in detail. Inside this list view, I'm going to add a label control and bind this label with a product's name. And just like that, I'm going to add a new label here and just bind this label to the product's price property. Now, just name your list view so that we can access this list view in the code behind file. Now I'm going to switch to the code behind file of this page. Well, in this page, I'm going to call the web service to get the list of products from the following URL. So let's start our work. I'm going to add a method inside the constructor and name it get products. Now I'm going to implement my code inside this body of this get products method. So the very first thing is just create a new HTTP client that is used to communicate with the server. And also it handles our web API request. So let's initialize the HTTP client. Well, this client is used to communicate with the server and it will get our data from the server. In order to retrieve the data from the server, we need a get request. So that's why I'm going to call the get string method along with this client and just pass the URL for the APIs. And await this call so that your UI will not be blocked. And just change this method to async because await doesn't work without asynchronous. Now I'm going to save the coming JSON from the API to the response variable. So far we have called the get string and get the response from the API, but this response is in the JSON format and in order to convert this into C sharp objects, we will need to deserialize this. So I'm going to add a JSON convert dot deserialize object function. And as you know that we have a list of products, so I'm going to pass the list of products here and just pass the response that was in the JSON format. Well. This JSON convert dot deserialize object will came to the Newtonsoft package that we have already installed so far. Now, in order to show the data to the list view, just set the list view item source property equal to products. And here we go. Now, let's run this application and see what happens. Well, as soon as the application appears, it will load all the JSON data inside the list view. That's a get request. Now in the next module, I'm going to tell you how to create or add a data to the server via post method. See you guys in the next module.